Moses did not write the Pentateuch, better known as the first five books. Nowhere in these books does the text say he is the author, plus it gives the account of Moses' death and burial. Dr. Yosef Ben Jacanan informs us that the Torah and Old Testament were only written in 700 BCE by scribes at the Sanhedrin and which the time the Africans of the entire Nile Valley were already in their 36th dynastic period. Walker writes, many laymen are still led to believe that a real Moses wrote the Pentateuch, the first five books of the Old Testament. Even though scholars have known for a long time that these books were first written in the late post-exilic period, by priestly scribes in Jerusalem. Their purpose was to create a mythic history for their nation out of customs, sayings, and legends mostly borrowed from others. How did the Bible become known as the Word of God? The first copy of the Bible was finished in the early part of the fifth century and was called the Vulgate because its language was so common it could be read by the Vulgar. Then at the Council of Trent, 1200 years later, the Catholic bishops declared the Vulgate to be the inspired word of God. And that's how the Bible came to be the word of God. The Catholic bishops said it was, but God knew nothing about it. They did not notify him. God was also not notified or consulted regarding the hundred plus different versions of the Bible including new versions of this Word of God that are periodically released even today in 2024. Outrageous, indisputable, shocking, fascinating, amusing, shameful evidence that the Bible is not the Word of God is presented in chapter 22 of Cursey Graves, Bible of Bibles, where he lists 277 Bible contradictions also an exposition of 2,000 biblical errors in science, history, morals, religion, and general events. All versions of the Christian Bible are frauds founded on forgery. Documentary foundations of the Christian or albino church's temporal powers were often forged, including the crucial Petrine doctrine of the keys. The church the albinos refused to acknowledge that its traditional privileges were founded on false documents. The works of subsequent scholars revealing the deception are banned, the authors persecuted, and apologists tried to explain away the forgery and were rewarded with ecclesiastical preferments. In 1628, when Blondell published irrefutable proofs of the decorative fraudulence. His work was promptly placed on the index After of burning books, books and closing pagan schools, the church dealt in another kind of forgery, falsification of omission. All European history was extensively edited by a church that managed to make itself the sole repository of literary and historical records with all important documents assembled in the monasteries and the late public rendered the literate albino Christian history could be forged with impunity. The massive fraud is maintained today by scholars from the ivory towers along with the priests bishops, ministers, reverends, clergy, teachers, Sunday school teachers, popes, preachers, missionaries, etc. of Christianity, Judaism, Islam, and Hinduism. Many of the aforenamed are unaware of this fraud, but the ones on a higher level that are higher up do know but do not tell their congregations. You'd be surprised, and yes, many of these are people of color, whether we see them as black boule or those who are just unaware and brainwashed to continue and perpetuate white supremacy, its structure, its order, 
and all of his mental disorder upon our people and all people of the earth. As they continue embracing and promoting slash maintaining the counterfeit religions that are keeping them undermined in the name of their Lord and Master. There were over 25 African popes before the first Roman or white albino pope. North African Christianity was replaced by Romanized European Christianity. The North African church was usurped and supplanted by the counterfeit Roman Catholic Church. Many of its bishops, priests, etc. were canonized by its supplanter. Thus, many martyred saints were murdered blacks. Dr. Yosef Ben Yohannan addresses the African origins of the Roman church and African origins of the major Western religions. God rising. The Essene scrolls expose the fraudulency of white counterfeit Christianity. Discovered in caves near Jerusalem in 1947, the Essene scrolls, or known as the Dead Sea Scrolls, exposed knowledge concealed by white counterfeit Christianity. They proved that Christianity was an outgrowth of Essenianism. Dr. R. Bernard Rice, these scrolls revealed knowledge hidden from the world ever since the Alexandrian Library.